Hey everybody, I'm John Granado. That's Lance Zerline. You can hear us mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content here at Sportsmap H-O-U. Hey, we found out this week that Dusty and James Click do not have contracts for next season. How likely is it we see both guys back? I'm not sure about Click. I'm certain. I, I, I would think that Click has a better chance of coming back than Dusty. What about you? Yeah. Yeah, I would think so too. Um, you know, I think Click's done a bad job. I think Click is is really keeping the the ship that that Jeff Leno built. He's just keeping it running. He's keeping it on schedule. I think he's done a decent job. I don't know about behind the scenes what the feelings are with him and Jim Crane. I don't know if Jim Crane loved the way some of the trade stuff went down at the deadline. Uh, I'm not saying he didn't. But I just wonder how things work because James Click had talked a lot about being extraordinarily aggressive. And we really didn't see that. Uh, Christian Vasquez was a nice addition when they when Dusty uses him. And Trey Mancini was was fine. You know, added a little bit of pop. So and a guy who could play outfield, could play some first base, could DH. So, you know, I, I do think I'm kind of with you, John. I think if you had to if you had to guess which one is more likely to be back, it would be James Click. Uh, because Dusty was never supposed to be the long-term guy, but Dusty did make it known he would like to return next year. That's the first time that he's really gone on the record and said that. I think the question is, do both guys come back? That's what you originally asked. And and I still think that I still think there's a about a coin flip chance that they're both back. I mean, if the Astros perform well and Dusty wants to come back, there could be some pushback to, for Jim Crane to you know, for him to make a move with a general manager and a, and a, and a manager who have just won or competed for a world series. So I think it could be interesting if their futures are tied to how this postseason run goes. Now, if they go out surprisingly in the first round or don't make it, you know, if they, if they, if they get eliminated in the ALD, I mean, yeah, in the ALDS, then both of them could be gone. Both yeah. No, no, no. I, I think Dusty for sure would be gone. So listen, if Dusty doesn't win at all, I think that Dusty, there's a good chance Dusty's going to go out. They do like Joe Espada. We know that. We know that that, 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 that Joe Espada's not going to stick around forever and wait for this that position to open up. If Dusty does win it, he can go off into the sunset as a champion, which would be wonderful for Dusty and his career and everything else. I think Dusty is much more likely not to not be back. But I will say this. I have a little bit of insight into uh, Jim Crane and the way he works. I, I did tweet about Carlos Correa, and it's not just Carlos Correa. If Jim Crane is done with, he's a businessman. I've got a contract with you. Our contract is up. I'm not obliged to keep you anymore. And, and James Click's contract is up. I've seen other people in the organization, people I know well, that their contract was up. You know, Jim Crane kept, we'll put it off, we'll put it off, we'll put it off. And then when it was, when, when once the season was over, it was over for them. So Jim Crane is a businessman. That's how he goes about his business. That's, and I don't know if that's good, it's bad or whatever. I know Ken Rosenthal said, well, he's a demanding owner. And he's a businessman. And you know what? If he doesn't want you to be run in his business anymore, then you're out of his business. I, I don't think, you know, James Click has been good. He's picked up Montero and Graveman. Uh, he's picked up Mancini and he's picked up Vasquez. But he really doesn't have a stamp on this, on this team. This is all still Jeff Luna. And, and maybe maybe Jim Crane is looking at it and saying, I don't know that you're adding or what you're bringing to the table because he did have Jeff Luna. He knows what a first class great general manager looks like. I don't know that. that, that uh, can, has he shown James Click so far that he's a first class great general manager? Well, Jeff Luna was in a position where he was able to build. You know, it's also Jeff Luna and the scandal that has prevented James Click from having draft picks in the first and second round. But James Click is just – he's in a position where he's not going to make as much noise because he's just trying to keep the ship run at a good rate, and he has done that. Jeff Leno was able to build it, so there's a, and he had a longer time frame. So there's a lot of Jeff Leno that, you know, was built over time that's been a big advantage. With James Click, he's asked to do something totally different. With that said, I think there's definitely a way that um, that, that Jim Crane wants a team run, and I think Jim Crane probably believes – James Click's not the only guy that could do it. And Dusty Baker's not the only guy that could do it. So if they if he needs to, I'm sure he he realizes, hey, this team is based on not just the, the guys that are managing or the, the front office. It's really the players. 
and you can find other guys if you need to, to make the ship run on time. So I, I think that that's one of the reasons why we could see both of these guys, uh, you know, there's a chance that both of them could be gone if the right thing doesn't happen in the off season. And even, I mean, in the postseason, and even if it does, there's still a chance that, that they could move on and go in a different direction, especially a manager. Listen, I don't know that it's fair to James Cliff because, you know, because he, what, what could he have done with this? He's got yeah, an unbelievable situation that was put in place for him. And maybe his hands were tied financially as well. We're spending enough money. We're not going to do much more. Uh, James Click, he's going to be in demand uh, for another team. He did, a, he did a really nice job in Tampa. He knows how to build a team. Even though he didn't have to build this one, he knows how. He saw it in Tampa. He was part of it in Tampa. I think if James Click is on the market, James Click is going to be scooped up pretty quickly. I don't think that there's any question about that. Given a chance to build an organization, maybe he's going to be really good. Fortunately for, or unfortunately for him, he didn't have to do that here. No, fortunately for him too. He stepped in. It's always good. It's always much better to step into a good situation yeah. than what, than what uh, Jeff Leno stepped in. Yeah. He can always go look at, look at my record as a general manager. People Yeah, look at my record. Okay. That's, that's me. Well, and we all, we all know what that is. 